Hello and welcome to the Home and Learn video course for VisualBasic.net. I'm Kenny Carney and we are going to continue with our class the student exams. We have done field variables, we've done constructors and properties. We're now going to do this polymorphism, which is a lot easier than uh, the name suggests, but it's having the same function or subname but with a different parameter list and I will show you how this works let me just uh, polymorphism polymorphism is that right? yeah polymorphism just something called function method overloading sometimes called method of function overloading just visual basic but in other programming languages you will hear the term method overloading and so what is it it's having the same function or subname but with a different parameter list so I'm uh, what I'm going to do is just to pause the video and I'm going to copy this line it's a quite exactly the same line there I press the enter key and you immediately see a red line underneath here private function convert student name as string has multiple definitions with identical signatures and the signature it is talking about is this one that is the parameter so we have got one parameter there but it is exactly the same as this one and you're not allowed to do that what you can do add another parameter different parameter list so let's the uh, we'll have say title as that's not that's tile title as string and now is that right here yeah. so I've got title as string and convert name to proper case as string I've got two parameters and you can see the red line has gone away that is gone away so that is allowed we also be allowed if I deleted everything between the round brackets that would be a different parameters right because it's different to that one um, but for this uh, what I couldn't do is simply to change this name right if I change uh, let me just do say on all right let me do like this one so if i simply change this name con name again you've got the red line but it's got the single parameter it might have a different name but it's just got one parameter and that is not allowed so we'll have that one convert into proper case and we'll put the title back in title as string right so that is a different um, parameter list I've got two there and I've only got one there so I've overloaded this function uh, let me see what what can I do with this title um, I can add it to the full name right so what I've done is simply copied and pasted the exact same code and it doesn't give me a problem with that but obviously you want it to you want the overloaded uh, function to do something slightly different or a totally different if you wanted to uh we'll add a title i will do the title here so title do that and black string and that so i'm adding it convert them to proper case i want to add that still a title so we'll go here I will add a title like something like Mr. Mrs. Uh, Lord, wherever. Right, so I've got two functions, exactly the same name, but with a different parameter list. That one's got two and that one's got one. And you can also just change the, uh, that one so you could have that one as an integer and to differentiate it from this one. So you could have, uh, I don't think you can do that. Yeah, you could have this one as an integer, say, and that one as a string. 
you probably don't want to do that. And let me add some of those uh, pop up tool tips we've seen before. You know, where you type three single quotes, and then you get the summary. And then we see the pop up uh, tip when we come to use it. And put our convert them to proper case. This one, first parameter, name to convert, and title to uh, append. Do for this one as well. Let me close that one. And three. This has only got one parameter, which it has picked up on. And the summary, I'll do the same. Convert name to above case and the door name to convert now let's see how to use that one let me scroll back up here so we're using it here aren't we convert student name and yeah, if I delete this try to use that function again if I type a round bracket now you'll see it's changed in the box one of two because the two functions we set up overloaded, they're both showing on this list. There's the second one, the one we just done. The two parameters. There's the first one, the one parameter. You've seen the same thing before when we did uh, the message box. Right, so if I do the message box, I can do a round bracket. Oops, sorry, uh, short round bracket. Oh, that's not going. How it is here. Right, so we've got one of 21 ways to use this one. One of 21, so they set 21 different uh, show functions. And they overloaded it 21 times. Which we don't want to do, we just want to do it two. Right, let me uh, use this one. Uh, uh, phone name, uh, comma. You'll see the pop up books were on two of two, and it's highlighting the new one title. Let me just give myself a title. I'll call myself so, so Kenny Carney. And set this on. Let me run it. I think it should be okay to run. That's the button. There it is. So Kenny Carney now. So Kenny Carney. So we use that second of the two overloaded functions that's, oh, that's, that's the first one that's the new one and that was the first one so we have overloaded a function you've done polymorphism we will do something else in the next video i will see you then